speed, action. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Are you all ready to go? Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, I'd like to speak to you today about some amazing recent discoveries. Scientists have speculated for quite a while that water may be trapped within the Earth's mantle. In fact, there may even be an ocean of water beneath the surface. You mean a secret ocean underneath our oceans inside the Earth? Yes, that's correct. But wouldn't that change our common understanding of what the Earth looks like on the inside? Yes, it would. And there is new evidence that supports this idea. This is geoscientists throughout the world speculating how hidden oceans could have formed and whether they in fact exist. So what supports that theory, Professor? Believe it or not, it's diamonds. Diamonds? Mm. I could get into studying diamonds. Why don't you find me a big fat five carat rock? <laughs> yeah, you could find one, turn it into an earring, and you would be so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same type of diamonds, isn't that correct, Professor? That's right, Noah. Sorry. Back in 2014, scientists discovered water bearing diamonds deep within the mantle. These minerals were brought to the surface from the Earth's transition zone, which is approximately 640 kilometers deep. Mm. Wow, it's pretty remarkable. Yeah, no kidding. But how did the water get trapped in something that far down? Well, when we're talking about water here, we're not talking about the liquid water that most of us are familiar with. Uh, it's actually the different elements that make up the uh, water, including hydrogen and oxygen, bound into the crystalline structure of a solid mineral, which is where you get the term water-bearing minerals. That's correct, James. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Earth's mantle moves by convection, meaning that hot magma rises and pushes other parts of the Earth down into the Earth. So let me get this straight. When the water-bearing minerals get pushed down because of the convection activity, the increased pressure literally wrings the water out of them. Is that correct? Yes. That's... That's... Excuse me. Yes, and that's water we would recognize. Hmm. The initial conjecture that there may be water deep within the Earth was confirmed by the 2014 diamond discovery. Really? That was also backed up by seismic data. The seismic readings were consistent with the idea that there was water in the mantle, and that contributes to the mantle behavior. Yes. But more recently, even more diamonds were discovered. These new gems pulled up from the Earth's steps actually do contain water, but in a totally new form that we've never before observed. Didn't the new diamonds they discovered contain tiny inclusions of the former water called uh, I-7? Mm -hmm. Yes, Noah. I-7 is an extremely high pressure form of water that scientists refer to as water ice. This is the first time we've ever observed this form of water in nature. Mm -hmm. The researchers say the new diamonds support the presence of what they're calling aqueous pockets of water throughout the mantle. Mm. So not only is there water inside the earth, but also maybe in a novel form we've never observed before in nature? Mm -hmm. So I guess that leaves huh. us with one important question. How did it get there? Well, one answer kind of addresses that. The main theory of how we have water on Earth was that it was brought up from the far, brought from the far reaches of the solar system by water-bearing asteroids, minerals, and comets that collided with the Earth. Hmm. Yeah, the theory goes that when the Earth was forming, our solar system was probably too hot for any water molecules to survive and cling to space dust that mm -hmm. would eventually become Earth. The Earth. So what you're saying is water had been deposited here after the planet was formed? Yes, Noah. But these new diamonds could upend that. Hmm. Some scientists now estimate that the mantle might contain more water than all of the Earth's surface oceans combined. Really? Wow, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, it is. So that's a lot more water than could have been pooled via convection from the surface of the Earth into the mantle in the given time frame of the development of the planet. We may need to re-examine our theories on the whole solar system at the, uh, at the time the Earth was formed. Maybe it was possible for water to survive and cling to dust and rock as it coalesced to form the Earth. Maybe there's an entirely different theory that we haven't thought of yet. Well, we're still unsure of the exact amount of water in the mantle or what form it might be in. We plan to keep exploring both with seismic measurements and lab experiments to try and simulate the materials and the pressures we would find in the Earth. And of course, 
looking for and examining diamonds, right? <laughs> you and your diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> right? Not the kind you would put in a ring, but no. of course the kind that contains hydrous minerals. Is that a good way to put it? Uh, of course, looking for examining diamonds, right? Yeah. Like, you know, I'm going to 